Last year at SEC Media Day, South Carolina was far from the center of attention. In fact, today during a press conference, Shane Beamer even joked about how last year the most buzzworthy thing South Carolina might have done was post the Steve Spurrier Arby's recreation photo. But this year, that wasn't the case at all. Both local and national media alike raving about the South Carolina Gamecocks and what could be in store for their 2022 season. But I'm excited for tomorrow because I, I love what Coach Beamer is doing at South Carolina. I agree. I love his excitement. I love his ability to recruit. I love his ability to, to lure over Spencer Rattler. Like, mm. that's a huge win. And I, I think if he gets enough time, I think he's going to do some special things at South Carolina because what he did in year one with that talent was incredible. I think he has got such a um, – contagious personality that these young players want to play for him and in a in a unique day and age where everything is changing and you need a good draw he is a draw right players want to go play for him i think he's going to do a really good job up on stage yep. tomorrow you know now that he's got a year under his belt we look back on the hiring process and we look back on those early memories to look ahead by saying, wow, you know, that Shane Beamer hire maybe was a surprise to a lot of people. And look where South Carolina is now, potentially in a position to shock some people going into his second season. And I will never forget when South Carolina was going through the hiring process. I was doing a lot of radio interviews and people were asking, well, if you were Ray Tanner, who would you choose to replace uh, Will Muschamp as the head coach of the South Carolina Gamecocks? And I remember texting with some of the guys who I went to school with during some of the best years of Carolina football, the back-to-back-to-back 11-win -back -back seasons, bowl games, Outback Bowls. I mean, just the golden years, right? And every single one of them would say, it's got to be Shane. It's got to be Shane Beamer. Then a couple months later. Making sure our guys understand that going from seven to the next step, the next level, is going to take even more work. And everything that I've seen from our guys since they came back uh, shows me that, that, that they understand that. Last year I stood up here and there wasn't a single person in here that was talking about South Carolina football other than maybe our beat writers. Uh, no one was talking about any of the individuals on our football team across the country last year. I think the most noise we made at SEC Media Days last year was when we reenacted the Coach Spurrier Arby's picture on the way back to the airport, but there was very little talk about our football team. That's different this year. People are talking about us nationally, which is what we want. We have high expectations at South Carolina. People are talking about our players as individuals more nationally than what they were last year. Now in just under a month, South Carolina will take to the field for training camp. And then in less than two months, they've got Georgia State at home for their season opener on September 3rd. Well, they'll be able to show off whether or not this hype is for real. For Gamecock Central, I'm Kendall Smith.